All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hey, today I got something uh, kind of exciting for me anyway, but uh, and uh, actually more so ambitious. So here's the deal. I want to stuff all this in there. I want to get uh, Proxmox up and running. I want to get three machines going, and I will use the physical disks. I'll just import them in, and I'll use that as the boot um, drive in each of the three um, systems that I have going. And then, uh, yeah, let's get um, Proxmox installed and start configuring it and see if I can't actually pull this off. Stick around and let's uh, take this journey together. All right, quick update. Uh, the board is in. So yeah, let's get the power supply in and the uh, rad. I'm going to water cool this. So yeah, we'll get the water cooler installed and then um, I'll throw some expansion cards in, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff in. Um, I've just kind of janked a fan here, which will be fine. It's just <laughs> it's just wire tied, but uh, these these uh, <clears throat> these nicks get uh, pretty hot, so need some air to blow across it. All right, I am at the Proxmox installer, which is good. Uh, it is seeing this uh, 120 gig. Uh, well, it's a 128. It's it's seeing that uh, drive, which is good. Uh, I was a little concerned because I do have a uh, PCI Express two port um, SATA controller installed because there actually isn't enough ports. There's uh, four ports there and two ports there for six, but I actually have uh, um, seven devices that have to be plugged in. Uh, actually, eight, sorry, eight devices. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to install on that uh, 128. And then the next hurdle is, does it actually boot from this card? I have no clue. All right, quick update. Uh, it, in fact, did not boot from that add-in card. So I have just attached it to, uh, where am I pointing? To uh, SATA zero. All right. Let me get the rest of the hardware in here and get the covers on it. And yeah, rock and roll. All right, Proxmox is booting again. It's, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I got a bunch of cable management to do. But anyway, there's all five drives. Oops, there's all five drives connected. And uh, I, I may move these cables around a bit. Not sure. But uh, anyway, there you go. So I wish I had a been able to find my other two um sleds i just took a i just took a caddy out of a server it's it's there i mean it's uh i guess it's better than just throwing it in there loose but okay so um i'm just waiting for the uh proxmox to finish booting and then uh yeah i'll jump on my computer all right so here we are inside of proxmox here's your dashboard has a bunch of information. Um, so I think what we should do is uh, let's open up a shell and let's see if the um, spinning hard drives are there. So we should be able to do a LSBLK. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Five hard drives. That's what we have. Yes. And we have our boot drive right here, SDA. That's awesome. So next thing, um, the flash drive that Unraid's going to boot from. So let's do, um, what was it? It's uh, OLS. LSUSB, I think that's right. LSU, yeah, that's right. So what do we got? Linux, or, ah, here it is. Verbatim, store and go. This is it right here. Okay, so um, we need to create a machine that's compatible with uh, Unraid. And then we need to pass these drives through. Oh, right. I forgot about that. I have a NVMe drive as well. That's for Unraid. It's a caching disk. 
So we have to put those, pass those through, and we need to somehow pass this through to the VM and tell it to use it as its boot drive. Um, I know I can pass drives through. I've done that before. Oh, the other thing we need to do is, uh, I think it's LSPCI. Uh, there's a 10 gig NIC, right? So LSPCI. Oh, yeah, right. Now, now I got to go blind trying to look at this. Uh, so we need to find... We need to find something about a NIC. It's right here. Here's the two NICs. Well, it's a it's one NIC, but it has two ports. Okay, so I have passed through NICs and video cards um, and hard drives. I've passed those through to VMs before in Proxmox. Uh, I've never passed through a USB device, but I'm pretty sure you can do it. The only thing I'm unsure of is can you boot from a physical drive or USB drive or whatever? Can you boot from that in the VM? I don't know. So yeah, let's take this journey together. Okay, so let's uh, go back here and we'll get ready to, um, to create a machine. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and create a VM. Um, I think I have some settings that I looked up that should work for Unraid. So we're going to put it in the PVE node. Yes. Uh, the name, this will be Unraid. Okay. Uh, do I need advanced? I can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. Next. Uh, this is going to be Linux for sure. Do not use me. Yeah, I think I can just do this. Do not use any media. Yeah, okay. Next. Graphics card is going to be... Uh, I think we can just do Spice. I think that's fine. Spice... We can always change this later too. Uh, I440BX, yes. Uh, BIOS is going to be default C BIOS, yep. SCSI is going to be vert IO. Okay, next. So I think. I can just leave this and delete it later. So I'll click next. Uh, I'm going to give this one uh, four cores, four, or sorry, one socket, uh, four cores. And the type, uh, doesn't say. I kind of remember doing this before. I think I can just leave it. I can just leave this and then just click next memory. I'm just going to give this, uh, for now, just uh, 4096 and then click next and then click finish. Okay. So there's our machine 100. So now, uh, it's been, oh, a long time, maybe a year and a half, two years. I got to, I got to pass through hardware. Uh, just full disclosure, I'm going to look it up just like I did last time. Cause I, there's no way I could remember that after a bunch of years. So yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, do a little bit of investigation and then we'll pass through some hardware and see if we can't get my existing Unraid uh, installation to boot and see the hard drives and see the NIC and see the um, NVMe drive, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, so we're looking at the machine. Um, there was the hard drive and the CD ROM that were listed here, I've removed them, so I think. We can probably start with um, the USB device. So we will pass through. 
Uh, is it going to work this way? Verbatim, store and go. Yep. USB vendor device ID. Okay. Add. Okay, so there's that. So then we're going to add a PCI device. Because uh, we've got to add the NICs. So we're going to use, I believe, yeah, raw device. And we just need to find them in this list. Here we go. Here's one NIC. I'm going to add both. PCI device. And then this one. Okay. Okay, so now we need to pass through some drives. One eternity later. Okay, success. Uh, here's the funny thing. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I went back in our video catalog on the KM hardware on, on our channel. I, I have a Proxmox video that I did a long time ago, and it actually goes over how to fix what just happened. So when you import your disks, you have to go into um like for instance you can go into your uh your um configuration file so if i go to the folder where it's at and we do a, a, a directory listing so if we do a nano 100 so this is the configuration file of the machine 100 and these are the drives that that we just added right so remember they are, they ended well that the size gets appended but we added this right you have to append the serial number of the drive i even though it's listed here you have to append it serial equals whatever right so having said that here is the unraid server all my drives are there and they're happy and if i go to the dashboard uh the cache drive is there. Actually, let me go down here. The cache drive is there, and it's also happy. So now we're going to start the array. And in theory, we'll know in a second here. Uh, in theory, we should be able to connect to this. Okay, there's my... Uh, there's the share, it's working. So I'm going to just uh, go ahead and map this. Map network drive, I'll paste it in, finish. Okay, so there's the KM share, look at that, there you go. Okay, so uh, there's the first um, system brought into Unraid. So the next system I'll do is the uh, iVentoy PXE boot system and then my game server. Okay, we are back. And we now have three machines running. And uh, on the Ventoy machine, it was the same thing as the Unraid. There's the disk that I imported. Everything else can be left default because it, it can just use the virtual uh, adapter. Uh, game server, same thing. There's the disk we imported. And uh, so there's the, uh, the Unraid server running. There's the Ventoy server running. Um, the game server, I'm just using the console view. So it's uh, up and running. I don't actually have the game server actually running, but the server that it runs on is running. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look at that. That's awesome. I've consolidated three machines down to one using Proxmox. And overall, it wasn't uh, particularly difficult. Um, I still find it funny that I had to <laughs> go back and look at one of my own videos <laughs> as a tutorial. But hey, that's what they're for, right? All right, so there you have it. All done. I just need to put the other side cover on and uh, move this machine somewhere permanent. Maybe give it a wipe down because, <clears throat> like I said before, I should have called, I should have called this channel the Dusty Something or another because it's just in my basement. It's just dusty all the time. If you've made it this far in the video, again, thank you so much for watching. You're a rock star. As always, if you think I'm worthy, why don't you go ahead and uh, give me a sub and like and comment? That would be really, really appreciated. And uh, I am very, very close to 1,000 subs. 
and uh, I've pretty much already got my 4,000 watch hours. So any subs that you guys want to give, especially if they're, uh, if they're worthy or warranted, that would be really, really appreciated. And we'll see you all in the next one.